Hello guys, Dhanjay here and recently I have made a video on how to update to 5.1 Lollipop which is provided officially by Motorola. But as usual the performance on the stock ROM was not that good, rather I was not that happy with the performance with 5.1 on the Moto E. And because of that I flashed CM12.1 and I have to say that CM12.1 is like blazingly fast and it works very well with Moto E. And if you want to download this ROM and install it, then I'll give the link of that video in the description box below. Simply follow that video and you can install CM12.1 on the Moto E. So as you can see, the performance of the phone is very, very good. And there are no graphical glitches. And most important thing is that the ROM is supported officially by Sunwish Gen Mod. So you can download updates daily. The build date is July 1. And as there are updates on daily basis, then you can simply download this application called CN Delta Updater. And because of this, you just have to download 20 to 30 MB of uh, ROM and it will flash everything automatically. And if you have any doubts or if you want to know how the Cyan Delta Updater works, then I'll give the link of this app's video in the description box below too. And it's very easy and useful to use too. So do remember that and as Moto E is dual sim, everything works very fine. No issues whatsoever with dual sim also. Uh, currently I do not have dual sim setup. I have just have a single sim, but single sim also works very fine. And the battery life is also very good. No issues whatsoever. As you can see the screen on time is eight hours and 54 minutes. And uh, I have charged the device once or twice or thrice maybe, but the battery life is very good. No issues with the battery life too. And as this is Science Remote 12.1, there are tons of features that you can customize. So I'll just show you guys some of the features. So just long press on the home screen, then swipe up and you will see that you have tons of options over here. And if you want search bar to be on the home screen, then you can simply enable it. And there will be a search bar always. And this is just a widget. So search bar is over here. If you want the drawer settings to be like vertical, which is going to be in Android M at, at least it is present in developer preview of Android M like launcher is like this. So if you want launcher like this, then you can select that from there too. And there is one very good feature in CM 12.1. Like if you just wave your hand from above the screen, then it will show you the time. And if I just keep the device like this and let's just lock the device, as you can see the device is locked. And if I just wave my hand and if I just wave my hand, then it will show the timing and that's surely a very good thing and you can enable that by going into settings then going to gestures hand wave is the one which i used right now and it is very very good and if we go into themes you can apply different theme also like let's select this theme and let's apply everything so as you can see this is the default uh, notification bar as of now but after we apply the theme it will be completely different so I'll just show it to you guys. So as you can see the notification bar is changed completely and as the theme is Nicola's dark material, everything is changed to black. And as you can see Wi-Fi toggles are turned black and the software keys like back button, home button and recent apps button is also changed. And this is also changed. So that's a very good feature to have and you will not get these features in stock ROM. So that is why I had to flash CM 12.1 and it runs very, very good. And I have installed kernel 2 and uh, if I just open gesture control then as you can see double tap to wake is present over here. So it's because I have flashed a kernel and if I just double tap on the lock screen then it will unlock the phone. So as you can see it is locked right now then it will unlock the phone and that's surely a very good thing and this is because of the kernel that I have put in the that's the Zapdos kernel. And if you want a video on how to flash the kernel and how to enable these settings, then surely let me know about that in the comment section below. I'll surely make a video on that. So guys, to sum up the review, I will say that the ROM is pretty good. And if you are having a Moto E, first generation Moto E, as you can see, this is the first generation Moto E, you should flash CM 12.1 because it's very, very good. And the performance is very good. Battery life is good. There are tons of options that you can have with the ROM. So do flash CM 12.1 and if you are going to flash CM 12.1 on the Moto E then do let me know about that in the comment section below. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I have already made many more videos on Moto E. Do check that out in the description box below. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching.